Hi guys, today I want to show you how to use the, our Inventor plugin to unfold the surface inside the Inventor. So here's the part from one company and this is actually like a car box here but all the side surface is actually curved and you cannot use the sheet metal uh, inside the Inventor to unfold this surface. Basically you have to unfold each side surface and then to cut the material so there's no software in the world that to unfold the whole part automatically for you you have to work each individual side and here you can use our software to unfold each side of this surface so let me see here uh, we choose this is actually the side surface we want to unfold on this side and then you have to first you have to download the software from our website on the inside uh, install the software into your computer and register the software into the inventor and then inside the inventor you will see there's unfold surface there's detailed step steps inside the user guide to tell you how to do that here so and first you click this button and then you see then this dialog box here so let me see here zoom all and then you can see then we can select in the middle point of this all surface that you want to unfold the first point is very important mm, because it's going to be used to unfold the surface here so let me, let me choose this one here okay and then you select all the other surface here here this one, this one, and this one. And and then also another side surface here. So you see here what I've selected here, all the surface is tangentially joined. So you can consider all these surface into a single surface here. And then you can unfold the whole surface into a single contour and then to uh, cut the flat material to bend it all together to bend the 2D flat material into 3D shape. So here this is very important that the surface tangentially join otherwise the software will not work. So you cannot select this surface here on this surface it will not unfold for you. And even it can unfold the result is not good. So now then you can select the curves here to be unfolded together with all these surfaces, but we don't have curve here, so we just ignore it here, and then we choose then the select the reference point. Then you see then the green circle, and then you just zoom all. You can see this circle. You select the reference direction. There's a user guide to tell you how to select the reference point. You need to see that, and then you can select then this point here so along the shape uh, it don't need to be exactly but the program can adjust itself here so and then for this case you need to hire a number of the point because there's a fillet surface there so you choose 200 and then we can unfold here see yes and that's it and then we have then we have this one here and then we can see the 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 unfold of the result can be put into uh, XY plan then you can zoom yourself here so you can look at this one here and then they will show you here and then you can see the result here zoom all here up all here yeah zoom all okay see here and this is actually the result you got here. So, and then this one here to be can be used to bend the flat material. And you can verify it here before you even cut the material because this is only for the surface. You have to add the tolerance to uh, for your manufacturing, and depends on what the tool you use, you have to add the cut tolerance here, and then you can cut the flat material. Otherwise, you can have a gap when you uh, bend the when you cut it here because the cutting uh, machine the cutting machine needs tolerance for that as well and that's it for today thank you bye